wrong yeah, attitude yeah. that sometimes yeah. even this is level up, but this is getting sitting down to to All right. Try new springs, but don't be afraid. If you need to raise that, you know, just a millimeter apart, as long as everything is going up and down, it's fine. So all three springs are adjusted the same. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I remember what I said. If you've done all your rotation on the springs and your suspension is good, but your arm board is still sitting slightly out of shape, go back, take your smallest screwdriver, oops, smallest screwdriver, and just make these screws just a little bit loose, and you'll find that you can rotate your arm board. And it's quite, quite a lot of adjustment on it. And then once you've got it square, pinch the screws up nice and tight. And then the only thing that's left, I would probably let the deck run for an hour or two after I've done that, let the suspension bed in, go back, check my suspension, and then the last trick is then to fit the arm cable. Arm cables, the trick with an arm cable is make sure there's no um, bend. So if you've got a new arm cable, normally they're packed up. Take it out of the packing, stretch it out, get any bend out, get it nice and straight, plug it in. There is a tiny, tiny little Allen key that you can just pinch tight, but not crazy tight. And then there's two P-clip versions. This is the original version, and the P-clip sits to the back, and the cable passes through the P-clip. There's a washer just above the P-clip, and the trick is just to put um, an Allen key in and just hook it over the washer and just pull the P-clip forward and that has the effect of clamping the P-cable. Make sure this is not too tight, that it's pulling the suspension. Make sure it's not so loose that it's pushing. Make sure it's not touching the wood. Make sure it's not touching the baseboard. So just floating free space from here to here. And when you're happy, tighten up the lock nut. And again, nice and tight, nice and tight. But again, metal to plastic, so don't go crazy. If, when you've done it and you pull it and the arm cable is still moving through it, go back, do it again, it's not tight enough. If the whole thing is rotating, go back, tighten the nut again, it's not tight enough. That is a clamp. And its job is to stop mechanical noise from here traveling into the cable system. So it does have a job, which is why when you take it out and run your cable straight to the plinth, that's where you have the problem. There's no break in energy transmission. So all the noise from this part of the turntable is stopped by the P-clip. That's what the P-clip does. It stops the noise traveling. This, this might be all right or not? Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. So when you first set up about no cable? I, I leave the cable off, yeah. 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 So then I'm only watching what the springs are doing. When you add the arm cable, the arm cable is kind of like a fourth spring. It does behave a little bit like a spring as well. So if you've got a nice bounce on your turntable and then you fit the arm cable and you completely kill the bounce, you've probably got that arm cable too tight for two loops. There's a later version of P-clip. Really, really tight. <laughs> <laughs> Quite tricky. It's really fit to, uh, in here. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't do it. The new one is a black one. And it's P-clip, but it also has a little um, clamp inside. And that clamp fits around the cable, and then the P-clip clamps to the clamp. But I bring those this side. So the old P-clips go to the back, the new P-clips fit to the front. Uh, Gives you more space. 
Oh, we can we can do it another way around, right? No no need to to have the the uh, new peak uh, close to this side. No, no. Just do it another. Bring way it, around. turn it the other way around. Yeah, yeah. that that is much easier. It is, yeah. yeah. Sometimes the new peak that will fit into that space, but a lot of the time it doesn't. Nothing. So bring it forward. Yeah. Bring it forward. The other thing that you have with an arm cable, with this style of P-clip, the cable, you've got a left and a right, so the cable goes through the P-clip like that, but it leaves the tone arm like that. So the trick is to put a twist in the cable, like that. See the twist there? Yeah. It comes out flat, twists, and then exits that way. And I do that just by twisting and hold it on a surface. That's it. And it will hold the shape. It will hold the shape. Okay, so if we move to... Are you guys okay for time? Yeah. So if we just pop over to the other deck, we'll just show you the difference. Yeah, sure. On a keel turntable. So, what do we... So, right, another volunteer to take the place for yes, you. Sir. Good news. It's the, it must be me. So this one always takes longer because there's yes. 